appreciate your thick thighs, beautiful ladies. Someone's going to want their head crushed between them one day. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Hi. Como ya la vi, solita, pues me pregunté, ¿qué pasa cuando me bailó? Cerquita, eso fue descomunal. Dale, dale, tra, tú sabes cómo es, cómo se lo mami. Oh, and hello, welcome back to Time with Tally, or welcome to Time with Tally if you've never been on my channel before. Today I have you guys in my living room just because I kind of wanted to switch things up just a little bit. I just want to start out by saying thank you so much to those of you that have supported me and continue to support me on this journey. It's almost unfathomable at the fact that we have already reached over 600 subscribers and I've only been doing this for a couple of months. I am very, very grateful. I'm humbled. Just thankful that you guys like watching the content and also support me and want to be around, period. <laughs> I have noticed and it also has been brought to me my attention that there have been some audio issues in the past videos in case you actually use headphones to watch the audio would only be heard on one side of the headphone and then in some videos it was actually in both and I was like what is going on I ended up doing a little bit more research on my microphones now the audio should be fixed from here on out now I know what to do so you should be able to hear it in both and I hope that we never have this issue again I think I did fix it I have been dying to make this video for y'all because I do know that there are a lot of people that follow my channel and or are on my Instagram that would like to start out in the gym they are new in the gym they would like some tips and tricks on how to get more comfortable and basically just start their gym girl era well I got some news for you because you're starting out your 2024 correctly first of all I'm proud of you for making that decision and I'm gonna be even more proud of you once you get in there today I will be showing you guys how I pick my gym fit yes there is a method to the madness yes there is a formula on how to succeed in picking the right gym outfit although I do encourage you just to do whatever is comfortable for you I do think that these tips and tricks will make everything a lot less messy let's get it so we're gonna start with leg days because I know my girls love the booty day period duh who doesn't want the dumpy and I think that's how I'm gonna do the whole video I will separate it by muscle groups and go from there looks like Christmas we're gonna start with the leg days quads and hammy so quads is the front part of your leg hammies are the back part of your leg the upper portion so we're gonna focus more on the lower body aspects of this you can kind of wear whatever you want for a leg day when it comes to the upper half like whatever kind of shirt you want so I'm not gonna really focus on that it's not that important what matters though is that you want to you want those legs to look good honey she he 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 period all right so you want to get yourself some really good leggings by really good leggings i mean you want to make sure that you can spread them cheeks in them and i know that sounds crazy but like i'm not kidding on these days you likely will be performing some type of a squat movement you will probably be doing some type of alternate leg movement something where long story short your legs need to be able to sprawl out i suggest getting yourself a nice stretchy pair of shorts i usually use arola i love arola shorts oh my god they are squat proof which is one thing you want to look out for when you're in the gym you do not want want everybody seeing your bits and goodies when you bend down or squat down whatever it may be so make sure that you're checking off the list on your leg days that your bottoms are squat proof they're also stretchy and for the most part that they stay in place because I will say that I love Arola it stays up here it has pretty good tummy control as well hold on I'll bring down the camera a little bit so I like the fact that the Arola also has like a thicker waistband sucks in all that tummy that I got you know what I'm saying and no matter what I do everybody worries about listen hold on all right, listen to me. A lot of people will talk crap about a gusset check or like if your girl got a fatty, but it's not the fatty from the back, it's the one from the front. Listen, I don't care, okay? Mine is fat and there's nothing I can do about it. I don't, I'm not gonna wear an extra pad to cover that. Genuinely, I don't care. If you see it, you see it. Congratulations, have a good day. I gave you a free show. If you're not grown up enough to realize that there are people that have bits that are bigger than others and you're probably gonna see them anyways in tight shorts, then go right ahead, enjoy the show. Take a picture, it'll last longer. Okay, I'm just kidding. That actually happened to me one time, so uh, don't do that. But anyways, the only thing I will say is with a lot of spandex shorts most of the time, if you are a girl that kind of got a little chunkier on the bottom, you know what I'm saying? Either way, it's gonna ride up. You can get yourself one of those like little like pads or whatever to insert into your shorts. If you don't want your shorts to be eaten up and show everybody your business, I personally, I don't give a fuck. If you see it, you see it. So I have the Arola shorts actually in numerous colors, almost every single color that they have. They do have like a nice little scrunch right here in the butt part. So I know a lot of girlies love that because it makes their buns look a little perkier, you know, and more shown off or whatever. I don't mind it. I love it. And then of course, Gymshark is a great brand, but I do think it really depends on the product that you're getting. The sizes are not really like universal. People are going to hate me for this. I feel like every single collection that they have, you need to just try it on in your usual size and see if it fits. Because there's been many a times where I've tried on Gymshark and although it's great quality, it's great with sweating, it's great with staying in place, their sizes will vary. I can get a medium in like, I don't even know what collection it was they had. And then I'll get 
get a medium again in leggings in another one and they won't fit the same. I don't know why, but hey, I'm just saying that that's my experience with them and it's also the experience that a couple of my other friends have had with it. It is a great brand. It is a little bit more on the expensive side, but definitely worth it in certain aspects, of course. These also have great tummy control. So those are the top three things I would say that you want to look for. Tummy control, nice thick waistband, stretchiness and mobility, and make sure that they're squat proof. I will say though, if you are a girl with a gut, like my share, and it's honestly only being covered by these mom jeans right now, I will say that a lot of the times my shorts will roll down just a little, but not enough for me to be so worried about it. All right, T then. So the next thing that you want for the leg days would be shoes. I would say that your best bet is of course a flat shoe. You want to wear a flat shoe or maybe no shoes when you are lifting, especially on your lower body days because I'm not going to get into crazy technicalities, but of course it supports balance. It helps with preventing injury. Overall, it's just better for stability. Some people actually do sell these sock like shoes that are very flat for those kind of lifting days, or they don't have like some type of cushioning at the bottom really. So they're as close to wearing socks or no shoes as possible. <laughs> but again, it's your preference. Maybe do some research on some shoes that might work for you. Also side note, if you are a girly that likes to wear sweatpants, that is perfectly fine too. I just personally some days don't really feel like wearing them on my leg days because I will be sweating and going really, really hard and I don't really prefer to wear something super heavy on my leg days that's going to weigh me down because most of the time sweatpants are pretty furry and I retain lots of heat within them <laughs> and I sweat a lot. I just feel like they tire me out faster. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Alrighty now, so we are moving on to chest and back upper body days, which are definitely some of my favorites. So for upper body days, you want to make sure you wear something that probably is full length. You don't have to, but these are just some things that I've noticed after being in the gym for like nine years. These are the things that bother me. I don't know about you. So I usually would like to go along with maybe like a t-shirt or maybe one of these like zip up jackets because I have found that every time I get on a bench, <laughs> if I start to sweat or whatever, and I have some exposed skin in the back, do you like to bench press and things like that? <laughs> when I'm coming down for the bench press, I feel as if maybe my retracted shoulders in the back or parts of my back are getting stuck to the seat. So I think it's always a good idea to wear something that's full length for chest and back day, or at least bring it with me on the side. On the other hand, you could also just bring like maybe like a towel or like a little face cloth or something to wipe it off. I don't know. I just personally, I like to have a layer in between because I'm, I'm a sweaty ma. You know what I'm saying? I'm a sweaty mommy. I stick to it. Also, just an FYI, when you're picking out an outfit to go to the gym, I want you to be aware of and don't overthink. Okay. Don't don't stress it. Don't have so much anxiety about it. It's not that big of a deal, I promise. These are just some things that I feel like will make this transition easier for you and can help avoid problems or just little annoyances, really. But if you have a set workout program or you know what workouts you'll be doing in that day, I want you to keep in mind those workouts. What will be comfortable for you to wear whilst you're doing them? Because when my back starts to stick to the bench, when I'm bench pressing, it limits my range of motion and it gets me really pissed off. I'm gonna be honest. And in third place, that was three, I swear. <laughs> in my program, I have a cardio core and conditioning day. For this day, you wanna make sure, if you're a lady with a chest, let alone a big one, I need you to make sure that you have a good sports bra. Because the last thing that you need is if you are running around, if you are jumping, you do not need your tatas hitting you in the face. So you wanna find a good compression bra. I have found in my experience, I do have to try things on, of course, first, and maybe do a little jump in the... <laughs> dressing room to see if it fits, but it's all worth it in the end. Um, and it's really an investment towards your gym career and journey. And they last quite a while too, if you take care of them. Almost every single time I wear a sports bra, especially now that I'm bulking right now, I still do kind of spill out at the sides. I haven't been able to find a sports bra yet that doesn't do that to me. It's my body, but it is what it is. As long as my talk ties don't go nowhere. On cardio core and conditioning days, I also make sure that I bring a t-shirt. I don't personally like to run around just in a sports bra. Sometimes I do, but it's usually towards like the end of my workout when I'm already tired and dying. I really don't care anymore. But I also will sometimes bring two shirts, one to wear and then one to actually cover the treadmill because I don't like to see the numbers and I feel like I can go longer if I'm not actually looking at the monitor. Those days I also make sure that my hair is up and tight and out of my face because you do not want your hair down on a cardio core and conditioning day, I'm gonna be honest. Try not to wear anything with a high neckline, at least for me. I don't find it comfortable on those days because a lot of the times I'll find myself like this. <laughs> maybe my makeup or just the uncomfortability. I have like sensory issues and like texture issues with my skin sometimes. So if I'm like working out or whatever, I will be doing this the whole time. If I'm doing like crunches or whatever it is. So I don't like to wear high necklines when I'm actually like running or doing cardio core and conditioning day. Another thing that you will probably need on cardio core and conditioning day 
is a nice pair of shoes. Running shoes specifically. These are very different to our flat shoes that we use during leg days. These can help you prevent injury. I would suggest that if you want to take up running and actually any workout in general, I want you newbie babies to do your research on proper form. There is a proper form to weightlifting, of course, but there also is a proper form on running. And I'm still perfecting mine, of course, but I definitely have gotten a lot better <laughs> over the last year. Running shoes specifically, you can find at any like sneaker store for the most part. But I will say, do your research. If there are running stores near you that you can actually go do a running analysis, do that as well. I know you kind of have to pay money for it, but if you're really serious about it, I think it's a good investment in knowing how your feet work and <laughs> knowing how you actually run and seeing what shoe works best for you. My friend recommended these. These are the Sauconies. I don't even know. Kinvara 12s, 14s. I don't even know. I can probably put these in the description. These are probably one of the best shoes I've ever tried ever for running. They feel so lightweight. I have so much cushioning and I actually did suffer from shin splints when I first started trying to run because one, I didn't have proper form, but also my shoes were absolutely horrendous. They were like some $10 Walmart ones that I found. These I have not tried on yet, but I will say they are running shoes. I've heard good things about them. Um, I just got them as a gift for Christmas. So I will let you know how these guys go if you want to know some more, but they do seem pretty light, a little bit heavier than my King Vara's. You want them to be airy. You know, these have like all these like little holes in them. You want them to be breathable. Also, so, ah, don't laugh at me at this. This is not necessary, but this is something I like, okay? Hold on, I'm gonna go get them. Okay, so these are like my golden egg <laughs> in the gym. Especially since I took up running and whatnot, I've noticed I have this issue with my toes. <laughs> And as a lot of runners will tell you, you just have to expect toe injuries. You just have to expect blistering. You just have to expect all this stuff when you start running. I did start to form a couple blisters when I started running when I was wearing regular socks. And I'm not saying that this is the answer to end it all, but I will say this did stop all of that for the last year since I've incorporated running into my regime. And yes, you guessed it. It's single toe socks. I am obsessed with them. I don't get any blistering. I feel like my toes can breathe a little bit more because they're not all mumbo jumbo together. And I feel like I also like sweat less. I don't know, they just make the run super comfortable. My feet can move freely like they should be when you're wearing sneakers. A lot of people don't know that technically our feet are not meant to be so enclosed in the shoes that we have, but in reality, our feet are supposed to be splayed out. You can run in leggings, you can run in sweatpants, you can run in shorts, whatever it is that you feel more, more comfortable with, of course. Just a quick side note, I also do a glute and calf day, but those really kind of go under the same aspects of what I previously mentioned with the leg days. But I will add, remember when I said you want to pay attention to the workouts you plan on doing that day? For my glute and calf day, I usually will warm up with jump rope. That requires jumping. <laughs> so on that specific lower body day, I will actually have to worry about a good compression bra as well. That's the only like little caveat there and last but not least arm day period let's see for my arm days all right so i have some options here okay this is pretty much one of the easiest days of all for your arm day you can wear a little strappy sports bra love these these are also from arola i believe you can wear a halter top that one has a built-in sports bra that was from like marshall's you can find some cute stuff in marshall's i also have this peachy bum top sleeveless zip up really cute the neckline kind of comes up here but love it anyways and then there's like this like i don't know if you can see this ah it's like a twist tie top but it's sleeveless it's also from peachy bum and other times i just rock cut up t-shirts my own like little muscle tops you know the biggest thing i would say with arm days would be let your arms be free i try not to wear long sleeve tops that also may be like spandexy and tight on those days because i need free range of motion in whatever workout that i'm doing if you would like to wear long sleeves, that's fine. But I also like, kind of like to see the pump after the workout because my arms be bussin'. Another thing I don't really care for, but that's also just my sensory issues. Things, here's the thing. I love this peachy bum top so much. They did nothing wrong. I think this is just my body. I don't like when the armpit part comes way too high up here and then I get a sh crap ton of deodorant stains right under the armpit. And I feel that little edge of the fabric rubbing against my armpit. I hate that. It also makes my deodorant come off. And then next thing you know, I'm gonna stink in the gym. I don't need that. Be aware of that when you are buying things. It's almost inevitable in a lot of them, but I have found some tops that actually don't do that to me. But overall, these are the top tips and tricks that I would give to someone that is new coming to the gym. I know it can seem like a lot, but trust me, once you get into a routine, it's actually something that comes second nature to you. Do whatever feels comfortable for you. And I hope to see you in the gym one day. On that note, thank you all for spending time with me. I love sharing these things that I have learned in my gym journey with new people. You're wanted here and any true gym rat will support you in your journey. But if I'm giving you some tough love, it's really on you. Make it happen. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Ella puso un casting para los que valoran. Si no es seguro, pues no se enamoran.